Be impeccable with your word. Think about the simplicity in that. Be impeccable with your word. This agreement says, speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. Imagine if everyone did this. Imagine if this was taught in schools. I remember in my kindergarten class, we had the golden rule. Treat others as you would like to be treated. We can overcomplicate so much as human beings, especially in how overcomplicated and frazzled we can be dealing with the modern details of life. This simplicity will ground us, will simplify, will cut out the chaos. Imagine if you said only what you really, truly meant to yourself. Our critical voice is most certainly not being impeccable with our word. That critical voice shows up with the sneaky bastard of perfectionism, expecting us to be perfect with our word. People pleasers and recovering codependents will go out of their way to be nice or to be kind to others, while that inner critic, that inner bully, wreaks havoc, so nasty, so critical, so cruel, and so false. What happens to your life if you internalize this agreement to be impeccable with your word and not just outwardly, inwardly? How would it feel if everyone you interacted with was impeccable with their word with you? Isn't that what we want in the world? We leave victim mentality and we stand in the strength of our own two feet, our own empowerment, when we embrace the changes that we want in the world. You get to be impeccable with your word, and may that be so contagious in your world and mine. Comment the word gratitude to get a link to the full episode. Find Emotional Badass wherever you get your podcasts and hit that subscribe button.